there's been a significant rise in the availability of cost-effective thermal imaging cameras that can be used by consumers and not necessarily by professionals. And I've got a pile of them here, topped on TC001, that one there, Thermal Master P2, the Infrared P2 Pro, the Hick Micro Mini 2 V2, and last but not least, the Kaiweets KTI W01. And um, I, in this video, I know it's confusing to choose which is the best one for you in your use case. So I just want to quickly run through some of the pros and cons that will help you decide on which one might be most suited to your needs and your application. Of course, these things can be used for just trying to find how to insulate your home, heat loss. They can be used on, you know, cars. They can, there's just so many applications for these. Um, solar panels, solar inverters, cabling, electronics. Um, the, the list is actually kind of endless. The more I, I play with these, the more kind of use cases I do find for them. But you may watch this video, and you may decide that you don't want to invest in one. That's fine. I'm not saying that every person, every household must have one, but I just want you to see what's available there. And they're a lot cheaper than they were when the only option on the market was the very expensive FLIR cameras with not great specs. So let's do a little specification comparison, and then I will show you which of these devices I will recommend for each person because I think all five of these could be recommended to different people for different uses cases so this is roughly in the order of uh, how I tested them and I haven't put on here I should have put the baseline of the FLIR which has much worse resolution lower refresh rate it has a similar temperature range but much heavier and much more expensive so all of these cost effective ones I found they've all worked flawlessly I haven't had any glitches some of the software on some of these is better than others but um, it's hard to be objective about that because it's kind of a preference thing so subjectively I prefer the software on the top on camera compared to the other ones um, but you may disagree and find something but as you can see they all have the same resolution every single one of them they all have the same refresh rate they roughly have the same temperature range give or take a bit so if you are operating at a, a quite a significant high temperature, then you may want to exclude the Hick Micro, for example. Um, weight, I don't think is really an issue. Yeah, if you're using it a lot, then maybe you will benefit from like the P2 or the P2 Pro, which are so light you don't even notice they're connected in your phones. And then of course, here are the retail prices. Most of these are available on sales with coupon codes. And so most of the time you won't pay these full prices. Um, special mention that uh, some USP that some of these have is the Kaiweets is the only one that is a handheld device. So you don't need to put an app on your phone. You don't need to give an unknown uh, manufacturer any permission to anything, any storage, any connectivity. The Infrared P2 Pro has a macro lens so it can do really fine detail electronics and the Hick Micro Mini 2 V2 it has a selection of adapters so it can be used even if your phone is in a bulky case and it can also be used for both iPhones and Android devices it doesn't discriminate so it's kind of one device for everything you can see that there is a bit of variance in the pricing and the big standout there is the thermal master p2 which comes in the retail price of just 152 pounds which is very very competitive so i don't want to waffle on for too long i just want this to be a very short video but this is roughly which cameras i would recommend for which people okay if you want to go for the most um, well-established device then I would recommend for you the Top Don TC001. Top Don has been around longer. It may not be a name that you're familiar with, but it's been around longer than most of the other businesses. They do a vast uh, array, a, a massive suite of tools for all kinds of applications. They do a lot of automotive tools. That's how I know a lot about Top Don. And as far as I can see, they are trustworthy and reliable, and they've just been around a little bit. And I think that's why their app for me just seems to be the most polished, the most well developed. And I think it's quite feature rich as well. So you don't miss out on much of that stuff. If you're doing very fine um, electronics and you need the macro lens, then the only one 
to consider as the infrared p2 pro if you're not going to use the macro lens then i don't see a massive advantage of having this apart from just to say that it's the smallest one and it is tiny so maybe to some people that will appeal if you just want you're on a budget and you just want to get a cheap one definitely the thermal master p2 it will do the job it there's not much between this and some of the other cameras and it's far cheaper um, the, the Hick Micro Mini 2 V2. Now this one, I do find that there is a little bit more detail to the image, although on the spec sheet they all have the same resolution as you can see over here. In reality, this Hick Micro V2 it is a little bit clearer, a little bit more detail. And so if you want the last word in that, then maybe you consider this. Also, if you're switching between like an Android phone and your iPad, or anything like that then this is going to be absolutely fine for you as well because it, it just works with everything it works with my friend's iphone on an ipad on my android phone and that one's been flawless if you don't want to give any permission and you just want a standalone device you can just go pull it out of the box or the case i mean it doesn't need to sit in this box it has a case inside but you can see my dedicated review to it anyway then i would recommend this this works really well it has a usb-c port on it so you can still download all of the videos and the images to your computer to review it on a larger screen rather than the small screen that's built into the device and this one just works well the battery life on it was better than i expected and so i think it's a, a good option now i don't know if uh, any of that is helpful to you in trying to decide and choose which would be the best option for you but um i'd encourage anyone that has a thermal imaging camera to put something down in the comments below which one do you have what do you use it for and are you happy with it? Is there anything that you would like to see in a thermal imaging camera or, or any features that are on your thermal imaging camera that you don't really use that you think are maybe a bit of a gimmick? My kids think these are great toys and it's great to turn the lights off and then hunt people around like you're in a film like Alien or something. Um, but there's um, there's so much to choose from and I hope that this gives you a little snapshot of whether you want to choose on price, you want to choose on quality, you want to choose on the app, you want to choose on being a standalone device. I don't think there is one device here that really stands out and does the best in every area and so you will have to weigh up what's most important to you and once again the this spec sheet here can be kind of objective but in the user experience it comes down to a subjective experience that's enough waffle from me if this has been valuable to you then give it a like and you might want to subscribe for more content like this in the future bye